In this video, we'll talk about kinetochores. Kinetochores are protein-rich assemblies found around the centromere of a metaphysic chromosome. In this picture, you can see the centromere region in red and the associated protein-rich structure is the kinetochore, which is quite integrate and contains several different proteins. Segregation of a replicated genome during the cell division requires the kinetochore for linking the spindle microtubule to the centromeric DNA. And this particular assembly ensures proper segregation of the chromosome. So in the metaphagic chromosome, the microtubules need to attach in the region of the centromere, especially the kinetochore, and thereby things get separated. So if this separate separation doesn't happen properly, then there could be difference in ploidy. So defective segregation can lead to many uh, genetic defects. That is why somebody or some mechanism need to assemble the microtubule firmly and equally with the centromeric region. Kino kinetochore proteins ensure this phenomena. So what we know today about kinetochore came from the electron microscopic observation at early 1970s. So if you look at this blurry picture from electron microscopy, a trained eye can understand there are at least three different layers. And these are some microtubules in this electron micrograph. But anyway, with the further development of proteomic technologies, it is now known there are several hundreds of proteins which are associated in the kinetochore region. So it's a huge protein assembly and its key job is to assemble the microtubules with the centromeric region. So there are three subregions of the kinetochore, the inner kinetochore, the outer kinetochore, and the uh, outer fibrous layer. The outer fibrous layer ensures it can attract microtubules towards the centromeric region. So recent studies have found that there are more than 80 kinetochore uh, core protein components. There are many other indirect interactors as well. So out of the many proteins, the key protein components of the kinetochore are the NDC80 complex, the SENP-E, and the DAM1 ring complex. These are a few very important components of the kinetochore. But when we imagine the kinetochore, we should not picture it as a static structure over the cell division. In different phases of cell division, kinetochore protein composition changes. If we look at metaphase, telophase, interphase, we would find there are some common proteins present throughout but there are specific proteins present in specific phase of the cell cycle and it has functional implication we'll try to understand how so this is late metaphase so at the late metaphase and the beginning of the anaphase the chromosomes need to be separated but these chromosomes are bound tightly with the uh, structural maintenance of uh, chromatin protein the the condensins and the cohesins so obviously it cannot be separated. By the way, APCs are anaphase promoting complex that can inhibit securin and release separases which can break down these uh, condensins or cohesin rings and thereby allow the chromosome separation during the anaphase point of time. So this is the normal scenario. Now in the uh, condition where there is a abnormal tension or there are microtubule attachment defect, let's see what happens. So there are tension, tension sensor proteins in the kinetochore region or in the overall centromeric region, which can sense a disbalance of tension between two sides. And these tension sensors convey the message with several, uh, several components of the kinetochore. Some of the major ones are MAD1, MAD2, MAD3, BUB1, all of these proteins. The key job of these proteins is to inhibit the anaphase promoting complex and thereby it can inhibit the breakdown of the cohesin rings and preventing the separation of chromosomes. This is how kinetochore proteins play a key role. I hope this was clear. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe you can uh, follow us on facebook or instagram you can get more notes and flashcards you can support our channel with super thanks 
and uh, you can pay via Paytm, UPI or even net banking. See you in next video.